Hello, hey everybody. How are y'all doing? It is Wendy. Long time no see. Um, if you see big bags and <laughs> under my eyes and my bloodshot eyes, I'll tell you all about it. It has been so long, y'all. I'm so glad to be back and glad to see you. I know, I thought I was done. I closed Ventinks at the end of the year or end of January and thought I was done. My dad broke his hip the next week and he'd been in rehab. And last week he was supposed to come home and he broke his other hip. And then this happened. And there's been a lot in between y'all. I've had a couple months off, but I actually am excited to be back and let me just tell you that Miss Ashley, I wish her the best. It just didn't work out and she has different things she's wanting to do with her life and she wants to focus more on her kids and I wish her the best, but I just could not let the store fade away. So I am back and I've actually been having super fun and enjoying myself so much. I don't have any employees, uh, but huh, you know, it started out as me, might as well start out as me again, but I've got lots of friends that have offered to help me out and I had Eline and Donna came in this week. We had so much fun Wednesday. They helped me steam the clothes y'all are going to see tonight and price them out and um, oh, the yeah. Scrubs, cons. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show everybody what true friends are. Um, um, I'm just, I've been thrilled by all the friends that have reached out to me and, and said they're going to help. So I hope y'all enjoy this. It's a, this is super crazy. I know it is, but you know, that's life. It's just life. Things happen. I'm back. I have been rearranging and doing all kinds of stuff, stuff to the store. And I've been here every night this week till about 3 a.m. So that's why I'm saying I look super tired and I'm super hyper. Just wanted to let y'all know that I am back. I am the new original and only owner right now of Cottage 321 Boutique in downtown Granite Falls. And Ventiques is closed and, and, and it's, it's okay. I, I actually have a booth over at the Antique Corner Mall with all my paint and stuff, but you know what? It's gonna happen, right? It's gonna be coming back here. And I have big plans. I've been him hawing around forever. I'm going to have paint classes. So that'll be coming in about a month. Um, we're going to have paint classes here. But we're still going to keep the boutique. We're still going to keep the clothes. I've been dressing terrible, so I need the boutique clothes again. And I just can't wait. I'm super excited about it, y'all. And I'm going to bring in more product lines um, and more gift things and just add and add and add and hopefully it'll get rebuilt and be another number one place to go shopping in Caldwell County.
Um, today I went and got a whole bunch of new stuff. I went looking for a certain cabinet today in another city that I had seen and thought I wanted something for this wall. I'm really wanting like a mercantile feel, a big old giant wall cabinet. And I remember seeing something there that I thought make, might could work. It was gone. It was already gone. If you see something you like, you have to buy it then or it's gone. But at the time I wasn't sure. I wanted to show you when I saw this, at first when I saw that, I was like, that is gaudy. But now when I see it, I'm like, I knew it would go with this rug perfect. And now I love the gold in it because this chandelier that I also bought today is going to hang from the ceiling. And it'll be right in the middle of the store, and I think it'll be really pretty. I like those together. This is pretty bright. This is pretty bright, so I think I'm either going to whitewash or white wax it just to tone it down just a little bit, but I really love it. And look at it. It's the same blue in the carpet or the rug, and I just think it's fantabulous. It is so me. I also bought this hutch today. It sits on top of another hutch. It was only the top part. It is such a pretty piece. This piece is going to be a huge struggle for me because I think it would be beautiful at my cabin whenever I get my kitchen finished. It would be great as just a kitchen cabinet. So anyway, we'll see. It may be here until I'm ready for it at the cabin. <laughs> the AC unit is huge and it's right there so it's really loud. I don't know if y'all can hear me. I should be wearing my microphone but I just don't want to mess with it. I have this piece right here clothing rack and it's silver and it's pretty beat up. I am going to clean it really good and I'm going to spray paint it gold and then shellac it. I was scaring to take down these little clips up here and you see my mirror. When I got up there to do that, I could tell that my mirror was barely hanging on. It was leaning. So I've got to find some clips that will connect it to that piece of wood and hold it on there. That's so scary. I could have busted it into a million pieces or even on somebody. I'm hoping I can find that in the morning and have it up before I open tomorrow because it's a big mirror. It's a huge mirror. I think that came off one of those, um, well actually I don't know, but I'm assuming it came off of a vanity with one of those round, but it may not have. It, it may have just been by itself, but it's old. I got a wild hair and I decided, can y'all see? The Cottage 321. All the bulbs are burnt out, so I've got to order some bulbs, but <laughs> I put up my Cottage 321. It's a lit sign. I bought it way back in the day. It used to hang on the back wall at the boutique at the um, store on Highway 321. I think it looks good. I was going to hang it above my ladder, but I think I like it there. It looks pretty cool. i got to secure it a little bit better. I'm going to hang Hang, I think I'm gonna hang the cottage part from the ceiling. It's got two hooks, that'll be real easy. I just gotta get the hook. So tomorrow, hardware store. Things for my mirror and hooks for the ceiling and uh, cement screws because my walls are, are like plastered over brick. It's cement basically. So I need some of that to fix something in the back and huh, I'm tired, y'all. I'm very tired. Okay. I'm going to rest for a minute, and then I think I'm going to, I'm, if I can cool off and quit sweating, I'd like to try on clothes for tomorrow's live. I'm going to do a live tomorrow night to show all of our new clothes and probably do a semi-tour of the store as well. 
because that's always fun, <laughs> especially when it's changing. So, okay. Bye for now. See you tomorrow. Bye. That is all the clothes I'm gonna show y'all tonight. Um, y'all wanna walk around the store for a minute and let me show you some of the stuff I've done. Not done a lot. We still have a lot of holes in some spaces without stuff, but believe me when I say it's coming. This stuff is coming and it's gonna be fabulous. And I'm kinda excited about it. I'm a weirdo, I know. <laughs> you can kinda see the whole store from here, right? It kind of looks the same, but it's not. If y'all had come in before, I moved all this stuff around. It was a lot different than my vibe. And nothing against nothing. Everybody has their own vibe. Everybody does. Um, I, I love the way it was before, but I love my own style. And like, you have your own style. And I highly suggest you always do what feels good to you and what feels right to you. So anyway, that's the whole story, y'all. But I'm gonna walk around and let you see some more. Um, the first thing I did is I'm all about the windows. Me and my dad built the platforms in here. I beefed up the windows and just put some more stuff. June will mark our birthday for the boutique. I, don't, I know y'all have heard my story many times, but January would have been 12 years and I closed Ventiques, but this place being in this location I think it's three, I can't remember. Anyway, long story short, I'm hoping y'all are getting the view as I go. <laughs> I'm talking. I will have a birthday bash June. I am supposed to be, I don't know how I'm gonna work it out yet because I have no employees right now. It's just me and a few friends that can help out here and there. And before anybody asks for a job, I can't afford you right now. I've gotta build the business back up. So give me a little bit to get built back up. We're gonna have a birthday bash and we'll just figure it out as we go. We'll figure it out together. I really would like for y'all to let me know. This is it. I think I wanna end the live right here. Cause I like that view. I like that view, that's cute. Y'all let me know. I would love to hear what kind of brands that you would like to have as far as jewelry, uh, spa products. Um, I'm, I'm bringing back the food, y'all. I have to have the food, because whenever we do events, everybody loves our food, right? Dewey's and, and uh, Stonewall Kitchen, and you gotta have Wind and Willow. Anyway, all of that's coming back, because uh, you know, I love it. There's gonna be some other things coming too and a few changes. So I don't know if y'all know, I have him hawed for several years before COVID. I did a couple of paint classes and it was fabulous, fabulous. But the other store, because it was more cut up than here, this store is wide open. It's, it's basically the same square footage, but this is wide open, right? The other store was cut up and had lots of walls and stuff. So we did the classes, but it was cramped. And then COVID hit and then I just never got back to it. I'm gonna have paint classes, y'all, and it's gonna be set up back there in front of that black cabinet. I'm gonna have all the paint products, IOD, and we're gonna bring classes back. So it's a goal, and I'm speaking out loud because it's gonna happen. <laughs> That's it for tonight. I hope y'all are excited to come back. I just didn't know how this was gonna be received. I didn't, you know, I was gone only for a couple months from Ventiques thinking I was done. But, you know, I'm back. Can't help it. It's just in your blood. So, it's in my blood. Can't help it. Unless something happens with my dad, we're going live Thursday. I appreciate y'all. I hope you have a fun night, and I hope to see you real soon. Bye, y'all.